Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be discussing a somewhat controversial topic, the top 10 reasons not to move to Texas, Texas. While Texas is known for its friendly people, delicious BBQ, and vibrant culture, there are also some downsides to consider before making the big move. So grab a seat and let's dive into the top 10 reasons not to move to Texas. Texas is a huge state in America, known for country music, cowboys, and the rodeo. Large cities and delicious Tex-Mex cuisine are what the state is famous for. Apart from all the obvious upsides of moving to Texas, there are also quite some downsides that you need to consider. 1. High temperatures and humidity. This reasons not to move to Texas is quite obvious, but I still wanted to get into it. Texas is hot. Too hot for some. The average temperatures in Texas are drastically different, depending on the region. In general, the summers get extremely hot and humid. Temperatures often reach the 90s and even 100s Fahrenheit, 37-38 degrees Celsius. The heat is made even worse by high levels of humidity, which can make it feel even hotter. Winter temperatures are generally milder, but they can still dip below freezing in many parts of the state. Not only are the summers hot, but the weather is also famously fickle. Drastic temperature changes are something you will have to get used to if you want to move to Texas. However, if you love the heat and want reasonably good weather year-round, Texas is a great fit for you. 2. High Crime Rates Texas is sadly known for having some of the highest crime rates in the United States. According to the FBI, Texas had a violent crime rate of 455 per 100,000 people in 2022. That is far higher than the nationwide average. The state also has one of the highest rates of property crimes. Texas had 5.9 murders per 100,000 people in 2020. This is significantly higher than the national average. Despite these high crime rates, many cities and neighborhoods in Texas are still considered relatively safe. It depends on the region or city where you want to move to if this should be of concern or not. Areas like Cedar Park and Flower Mound are quite famous for their low crime rates, for example. 3. High Taxes Texas does indeed have relatively high taxes compared to some other states, which may be a deterrent for some individuals considering a move there. The state's sales tax rate stands at 6.25%, surpassing the national average of 5.53%. This means that consumers in Texas pay a higher percentage of their purchases in taxes compared to many other states. Another significant factor is Texas' property taxes, which rank among the highest in the nation. The average property tax rate in Texas is 1.81%. However, one notable aspect of Texas's tax system is the absence of a personal income tax. 4. Higher cost of living. The cost of living in Texas is generally higher than the national average. Mind you, it's still a lot cheaper than in states like California or New York. Housing costs are one of the biggest expenses for Texans. The average home price is $316,400. That is a lot more than the median home price nationwide. Keep in mind that this greatly depends on the area. Cities are in general more expensive than rural areas. Texans can expect to pay about 14% more compared to other states across the U.S. for utilities. Also, food prices in Texas had increased over recent years and are about 8% more expensive than in the rest of the country. The only thing cheap in Texas is the fuel, so at least car travel will be cheap. All in all, that is for many people a reason not to move to Texas. Other factors that contribute to the high cost of living in Texas include healthcare expenses, utility bills, especially during hot summers when air conditioning usage is high, and transportation costs. While some areas in Texas may have lower living costs than others, it's essential to consider the overall financial impact before making a decision to move. 5. Limited public transportation. Moving to Texas comes with the challenge of limited public transportation options, which can be considered a significant downside for some individuals. Even in major cities like Houston, the reliance on cars is evident, with approximately 92% of residents owning at least one vehicle. This high car ownership rate reflects the necessity of personal transportation for daily activities, commuting to work, running errands, and accessing recreational opportunities. 6. Divided political culture. Moving to Texas comes with the challenge of navigating a deeply divided political culture, which can be a significant downside for some individuals. The political landscape in Texas is characterized by a strong presence of the Republican Party, which generally holds power at the state level. However, there are notable variations in political ideologies, especially between urban and rural areas. Major cities in Texas tend to be more socially progressive, 
with diverse populations and a focus on issues such as environmental conservation, social justice, and LGBT plus rights. Many Texans, particularly those in rural areas, express a skepticism towards federal government intervention and policies. 7. Bad Traffic Texas has more motor vehicle accidents than any other state. Due to many people driving in favor of public transportation, traffic jams are a common occurrence. The roads are huge and super confusing, especially for Europeans. If you are a bit thin on patience, like me, then the driving situation in Texas is gonna be a major downside for you. The traffic situation in major Texas cities like Houston, Dallas, and Austin can be a significant concern for residents. Due to rapid population growth and urban sprawl, traffic congestion has become a daily challenge for many commuters. Rush hour traffic can result in long delays, especially on major highways and interstates, leading to frustration and wasted time for drivers. 8. Air Pollution Sadly, the blue skies of Texas can be filled with air pollutants in certain areas of the country. Pollutants from cars, trucks, and factories can make the air dirty and unhealthy. They are responsible for about 70% of the state's air pollution. A current estimate is that about 4.6 million people die each year due to air pollution. If you are looking for clean air to breathe, you might have to look a bit farther than Texas. 9. Disgusting insects. Many times when another yucky insect is spotted somewhere in America, it is in Texas. As if that was not enough, there are also about 84 different species of mosquitoes inhabiting the Lone Star State. If there is one thing that loves the hot and humid climate, it is the mosquito. And not only are mosquitoes super annoying, but they also carry plenty of harmful diseases and transmit them to people. 10. Bad healthcare system. Texas is sadly ranked 49th in terms of affordability and access to healthcare in the US. This is one of the biggest reasons not to move to Texas for me since I am used to all the great healthcare in Europe. Especially in the remote areas of the state, access to healthcare is less than good. Healthcare is also incredibly expensive in Texas, so that many older people without employment insurance are left without it. Pro tip, make sure your future employer offers decent healthcare benefits before moving to Texas. Texas faces challenges in providing comprehensive healthcare services to its residents, resulting in limited healthcare options for many individuals. One of the primary concerns is the state's ranking in terms of healthcare access and quality, which is relatively low compared to other states in the United States. This can be concerning for anyone seeking timely and high quality medical care. Conclusion. So there you have it, the top 10 reasons why you may want to think twice about moving to Texas. While Texas has its charms and attractions, it also has its pitfalls and drawbacks that may not be suitable for everyone. Before making the decision to move to Texas, it is important to weigh the pros and cons and consider whether the state aligns with your lifestyle and values. So this was our today's video. I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and also share it with your friends and family. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.